pepper spray all day in LA. Nobody said the bike life would be easy. Episode number 24. Looks like he's in the middle of the street riding. Let's take a look. And it looks like in, in the US. Oh, maybe this is a bicycle. One overcast day just riding a bike. Yeah, this is a bicycle. You know, it's legit. He's backing up into his driveway. I do this all the time with my truck, so I'm facing out. It's easier for when I leave, so pedestrians and stuff I can see. So I back up. I back up into the driveway. I, it's just how I park the vehicle, and this is pretty common. You know, you, you need to stop. I mean, and let him do his thing. But he's on a bicycle. He's going to skirt around. Let's see what happens. So no big deal, no big deal, plenty of room, that's fine. So why did you... So why did you say F you? I don't know, I couldn't tell if the driver said something. But why would you even return if he did? You know, he's backing up, there's room. This People do this all the time for their driveways. It's not a big deal. Now, see, the SUV should just continue back up and just whatever. Stupid cyclist. Don't worry about it. I and, apologize. Uh, he was swearing at me. And I, I Who are you talking to? Sorry about that, sir. Who? You're on camera. Yeah, see, now, now the SUV went from doing something perfectly legal back into your driveway yeah, it's a residential area. It's not like that looked like a real main road. It's a residential area, back in a driveway, to now following and doing stuff that could cause him to receive citations. You're on camera! But as a bicyclist, you, you are supposed to stop, too. I mean, you did go around, and he might have said something to you because you're being impatient, because you're on a bicycle. But come on now. You have to obey the, the laws of the road, too. If you were in your vehicle, you'd stop. You wouldn't try to go around. The guy's backing up. Why would you try to go around? you let him do what he's doing. I think, let's see. Okay, that car cannot see around this little crossover vehicle and uh, probably might not have even notice the rider. So benefit of the doubt, might not have noticed because this rider is to the right. If you're coming and you as a rider can see that there's somebody waiting, it's best to move over to the left side of your lane so they can see you. But when you're hiding to the right, I change positions in my lane constantly. Depending on the situation, I would have been to the left. So that car turning left could see me. Just saying. But it's still the car's fault. Okay, just continue. You all good, bro? Oh, yeah, i Alright. Oh, yeah, it's coming over. Right. I'll bring that Yeah, no problem. Nice for him to stop and ask. Yeah, you never want to be too, too close. Especially in the middle of the lane. Um, I try to stay, like in this case, at that intersection, I would probably stay more to the left. Just so the driver knows I'm there and it's nighttime, they might not actually see you behind them. Um, you know, if they have tin and it's dark, they, they just not might see your head. They're not going to see the bike. And your light's so close, they're not going to see your headlight. So they be to the left. Holy. And I say all that thinking that guy's going to reverse her side. And maybe it's good he was more in the center. But, you know, placement, that, that's just luck. That's luck there. So you got lucky that I guess he was in the middle. <laughs> Somebody oh not paying attention. God. Oh, uh, wow. Holy they damaged their vehicle and they don't care.
Why would you stop? You weren't involved. Holy this. Shit, dude. Why? Why are you following? It has nothing to do with you. He didn't hit you. Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> why would you ask if they're okay? They're in a vehicle. Of course they're okay. There's more than one person. It's probably, who knows, stolen or they were distracted. Whatever. At least they didn't hit you. Your tire's flat. Well, I think that's why she pulled into there. Because she knew her tire was flat. Anyways. Camera states, this guy was high on something, man. He w wouldn't let me enter. At the end, I called the police and he gave me an apology and said sorry. Okay. I'm about to park my walk. Yeah, see, back up. Exactly, leave. As soon as I start recording, you back up. I'm about to pick up my order and you're not leaving me alone. What are you going to do? Don't get close to me. I'm about to pick up my order and you almost ran me over. Instead of saying sorry, you're having me to leave. Yeah. You stupid. Okay. Yeah, I kind of agree with the driver here. You do seem stupid. Is this the whiny one from before where he whined about the uh, guy being too close to his little e e bike? Please leave. Leave. You gotta get your ass to the sidewalk and stop being here. People are in the sidewalk. It's not dangerous. I come here every day and I pick up orders. I do. I can ride my bike and I can park it in a safe zone. I cannot walk where cars are walking. I would like to stop arguing with you and get on my day. I'm not. I'm working just like you. I'm picking up orders. I says who? Says the police. No. no. Go ahead and call the police I'm then. Not gonna call it, bro. Okay, leave then. All my permits are valid, stupid. Leave. Little ass. Why would you even bring up your your permits are valid? What's that guy to do with him saying, "Well, call the police then"? If he thinks you're in the wrong, that has nothing to do with you and your permits, whatever they are. <laughs> what, dog? Leave me the fuck alone. I'm telling you. Um, you are the one who's in my face, bro. Okay, I need you to move your property and get out of my way. If you get off of my way, I'll do that. Man, it's like a little ass It's not okay, even in your sure. way. Stupid, dog. Who the fuck you talk to that? Don't talk to me. You'll see me a thousand times a day. I'm not going to bother you. I told you from the beginning. I'll tell you. Okay. There is no reason for you to tell me that anyway, because I didn't do anything to you. Why did you tell me to ride safe because I didn't do anything? You're jealous because I have an expensive bike? What? Oh my god, don't even pull that with the little e-bike. No, you do, bro. No, okay, can I tell you something? I drive a thousand places. But why would you say that anyway? It's... Well, he can say that. It's freedom of speech, dude. Why are you being so whiny in this one? I don't get what really occurred here. I mean, he's wrong in that, yes, you can be there riding your e-bike because it's considered a road vehicle. You like a bicycle. You can be in the road. But I don't understand what's going on here. Lack of context. I didn't what do anything to you. Okay, I'm busy too. You should be, you should be, be careful. Yeah, cause you get out of the car and you want to fight me. In case I want to use my pepper spray at you. Yeah. No, cause if you fight me, I'll do that. And I'm not going to go to jail. Cause you get out of your car aggressively. Yeah, because you're not getting out the way, bro. Bro, you blocked me. Look who's blocked on my way. I'm, I'm leaving. You blocked me. Bro, get in your car and leave. This, this, this kid is whiny, man. Yeah, he was in the last one about the whole... You know, handing the, the, the bag, the guy. that Now, that was strange, and I, I agree. And I was giving him a benefit of doubt, but it seems like he's out there trying to get confrontation. Now that I see there's another video, and he's being whiny, but I'm going to pepper spray you, and I'm going to do this and that. And we don't even, I don't understand what, what's going on here. He could leave. This person can easily leave. Why are you arguing? Just leave. Somebody leave. <laughs> okay, I have their video here. We can't call the police. Yeah. I'm leaving. You to be I'm tell okay. I'm yes, sir. I do see that, but I so but no one else say no one else tells me that. I okay, he's moving cars. So is this a mechanic shop right here or something? I, I don't quite understand that. See, that's what I'm saying. Lack of context, people. Explain to us this parking lot. Show us the parking. Why are you videoing this? 
in um, portrait mode. Who video? Obviously, it's a phone. Who videos in portrait mode, man? Landscape. Call me a thousand times a day. You're just jealous, bro. I'm telling you. No. Jealous? Why do you keep bringing up the jealous thing? No one's jealous of your e-bike. His car, that sounds like a customer car, but his personal car, he might have two or three. More expensive than that. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be careful, but there's no reason for you to tell me that. I know how to ride my bicycle. And there's no reason to tell, keep telling this guy, I know how to ride my bicycle, and you're jealous. You're jealous, man. Neither of you are blocking each other, so I don't understand what's going on. Be careful how to drive. You almost ran me over. No, you're f***ing on my way, bro. Look. You're an idiot, dog. You're a stupid homie. This guy is just doing these videos to get reactions. That's my belief now. He's whiny. He's complaining. Tony, man... Just go away. We don't need you out there. You, At least he's not on a real not motorcycle. Go ahead and tell him. Yeah, actually, if they own this lot, they could trespass him off. There is a possibility of that. They know me better than they know you. You're not even licensed to be here. Okay, he's valet, so it must be a restaurant with valet. I'll call the police. No, where is the license? Show me your license. Exactly. You guys are collecting money here. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah. Okay, we'll call the police and they. Why are you now threatening this guy's livelihood? You don't know the situation of what, how they rent the lot or what's going on, who owns what, and you're threatening him whether he has a license or permit. So you're making false allegations that you have no idea about. Okay, Tony, I wish this guy would beat you up and take the GoPro, smash that memory card, and we didn't even see this video. You can't look at the license. Yeah, you're retarded. You're stupid. You're stupid. Yeah. Yeah, Tony is stupid. Go ahead. Tony Beautiful. is. <laughs> Please go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, they can trespass you off. It's a it's a private lot. You don't have the right to be there. I will. The way you're fired. I'm gonna call them and I'm gonna email them the video. Go ahead. Go out, call the police right now. You know, so you're threatening me? No, you've already threatened him with pepper spray, so don't play that game. Man, this Tony guy is a loser. I'm calling the police. You're threatening me? Okay. I'm calling the police right now. Good. Call the police. You, you... Bro, you're not going to threaten me because I'm not going to feel safe work anymore. You Threatening? He didn't threaten it. He just said he knows where you are. That is not a threat. What's valet zone? I'm about to park my car. My bike and go to delivery. Why did you say sorry? You threatened me. Yes, you said you know where I live. Yeah, Tony is the whiny one. He said the guy ended up apologizing when the police came or something. But... We don't see that in video, so I doubt that actually happened. He he uh, tucked his tail and ran away. Tony's a whiny ass bitch. <laughs> he didn't move anywhere. He's been in the same spot. Okay. A tad, but... Yeah, what are you doing? Bobby Pat, he like moved an inch. I mean, now I don't know why the van would turn so sharp. Were they gonna cross the median? What was going on? I is it a construction vehicle? I didn't quite understand that. Yeah, you're the one that still might have got injured. And had the hassle. So. <laughs> Isn't he filling up with diesel?
it's green. I don't know what country this is, but in the U.S., green handles are diesel. Camera stays just saw a beautiful 2016 ya Yamaha R1. He doesn't know how to spell R1. R1. <laughs> okay. Catch on fire and crash on Woodhaven Boulevard, Indiana, Queens, New York. No, thank God. I think it's his. That's crazy. If it really just burst into flames, I mean, what? Well, well, it's not a new bike, 2016. Okay, well, all these people are riding dirty. We got the ATV to the left. Obviously, now it's supposed to be on the road, not plated. You got the uh, slingshot or whatever, or the cam and spider, whatever the snowmobile looking one is right there. I don't see a plate, so not plated, probably stolen. Got another dirt bike off on the sidewalk, couple not plated. Shouldn't be there. You know, you're clogging the roadways and. You probably most likely when they're doing this, they're stolen bikes. It's sad. Yeah, I don't know. You got all these hooligans on unlicensed vehicle on the roadway. I would fear for my life too. I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no one's providing help whatsoever. Oh, it must have just happened. Okay. Oh, I like the flip flops as you're riding. Looks like he's wearing a garbage bag. <laughs> What the heck? Some plastic clothing right there. Well, maybe you should have shoes. They're all in flip flops, though. Day in a third world country well those were some good videos as always so pepper spray all day in la nobody said the bike life would be easy episode 24 yeah and the pepper spray kid is whiny i hope we don't see him again but i have a feeling he's been making videos so we're gonna see his whiny bitch ass in these videos ah, that's sad his rider is a bad name, but he's really not on a motorcycle. He's on an e-bike. Thank goodness. Whiny, whiny, whiny. Anyways, hope you hope you all like this video and this commentary. And get out there, be safe, be well, and ride. Have a good one. Bye.